Huh? Fat boy short. October 18th. Oh, shit. Yep. I got mad skills. Y'all see how to do the human people. October 18th. <clears throat> hot um, off the heels of UFC 120. Soon running up on 121. Our 121 video is already out there, so go watch that one. Yeah, give us some views. First fight of the night with the ones that we're going to cover because we're not going through all Travis that. Travis Brownie versus Chich. Kanga. It's not brownie or blondie, and you don't eat it. It's brown, like Jackson Brown. Then what's the e for? The e is the vowel at the end of his name. Nigga, Why? Because then erase that motherfucker. Maybe Take it off your name. It's no, sad. that dude's way too big. Yeah, he will fuck you yeah, up. Yeah, Chich. Because if he almost beat that big, tall African giraffe right well, it was back. a draw. Chich probably would have won it if he wasn't grabbed on the drawing? shorts. He grabbed on his shorts. And that, he what? got a whole point. Da, 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 See, da, See da, check. You shouldn't have done that. It's is Chich. his last name mixed? It's Chich. Oh, Chich. Chich Congo. Anyway, um. It's a draw. George and I got that one wrong because we said that Czech Congo was going to beat his ass, but he did. And we got the next one wrong, too. Yep. And we Mike, thought Mike yep. Powell beat Hathaway. Yeah. We had Hathaway. We oh, didn't well. do too good. No, so you guys can really join on us. Ooh. Scared yeah. shit. Anyway, this is another one. Dan, <laughs> Dan Hardy lost <laughs> well, by KTFO. <laughs> Please say that again. KTFO. Knock the, the fuck out. That Usually family. Depot always does that. And here's the thing. If, if any you got my 40, it, homie. <laughs> what you Dan, got, Dan Hardy's like, yeah, I gotta look at the tape and see what happened. You know what happens? Every time you throw a left, you drop your right. Leave an opening. <laughs> you throw your left, drop your right. You got hit with a left, and you went. Nah. You knocked the red off his mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> now, and then Biz being won by unanimous decision. What which do we, do? I'm, no, we have to talk about this fight, why? okay? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why we talk about. It. First of all, why, why, you know, does why is Big is Biz being headlining fights still? Because it's in the UK. I don't care. There's better. There's better fighters. Fight oh well, there's overseas. a headline. There was a headline today on MMA Junkie from uh, from Dana White. Goes, look, we can still expand the UK market. We don't need UK fighters. Yeah. So that tells you right there what Dana White thinks the UK. Because fighters. everybody's like always fighting Akiyama. Ak- Akiyama got beat by Lieben. Okay. That was a good fight. though. That was a good fight. But let me tell you something. This guy, they're like, oh, he's a, he's he's a, he's a. Now I know he's a badass fighter. I know he will fucking win. Godzilla the shit out of me and fuck me up. But I'm going to tell you what right now. He beat Francis Botha. Botha. That nigga fought Mike Tyson back in 1929, right after the Depression era, shorty. You said and I'm going to tell you what, huh? You said he will Godzilla you. He, that motherfucker's like 5'4". Well, he will Godzilla well, my kneecaps. kneecaps. Right. <laughs> but Akiyama, he's fought all these celebrities. He fought Mr. T. He fought Albert Einstein. He did. He fought Roy Rogers and Trigger, nigga. All right, anyway, tell us what you thought of UFC 120. Um, I think for free, whatever. And, yeah, I made a mistake. So what? It wasn't live. I read the results. I don't give a shit. Right. So we're going to talk. This week's the only week. We're going to talk about college football. Yes, about how sad it was that the Nebraska Cornhuskers lost because I was in depression. (laughs) You know what was more uplifting than the Nebraska loss? Fucking Ohio State lost. George popped a entire fucking bone and I could have flipped this fucking chair, this table over right Uh, now. uh, Maybe not. Maybe a little table, small. Probably not even a paper cup. Yeah, it's not well endowed. Anyway, um, the BCS standings came out. Okay, you see this motherfucker <laughs> said this shit, man. He stuck that shit out and said, "Ask your mother, that old funky bitch." Anyway, not my mom, you. No. <laughs> right. Like so. Anyway, um, Oklahoma is number one according to your BCS. I told you. Oregon is dos. I told you. Boise State is tres. Mm-hmm. Now, didn't I tell you that those mugs win? Didn't, win didn't, didn't I tell you? They're going to hop them. And I said okay. that they could be in the national And you know what? Boise State's going to get even worse. Boise State and TCU need every team in front of them to catch an L. Yeah, because Auburn is right behind Boise State. And Auburn, their schedule's nasty. Man. How can you deny? I mean, a team they're playing hard teams every fucking week. And the week. luckiest team in the country right now is six. LSU. And Michigan State's undefeated. And guess it stands what? for Lucky State University. <laughs> and Michigan State's undefeated behind LSU, and they don't have to play Ohio State. Yeah. They have pretty much an open run to the Big Ten title. But I think people, Ohio State's boosters and alumni and all those people up there, they're like, oh, oh, oh. Because let me tell you something. They're sitting at 10. Wisconsin is sitting at 14th in the, uh, B- the B- BCS standings. Who did Wisconsin lose to? That's the question. Did was, uh, Who's Wisconsin's lost to? I don't know. Or has Wisconsin Probably lost? Probably the backyard, yeah. Wow. It's one of teams. But you know what? I still think that Ohio State should be behind them if they got beat by them. I'm going to be in. They I'm, got badgered. He, that was bad. What? That was bad. They got badgered. Mm. You didn't like that? That that was bad. It was? Yeah. All right, I'm going to shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, Sorry, guys. <laughs> On to the NFL. On to the NFL. 
Now we're going to talk about something. The NFL is like, fuck this shit. They're, they're sick of motherfuckers doing this head-to-head shit, especially if you were playing in NFL, because oh. you would be killing motherfuckers. Yeah. They'd be calling you Concussion Crusher George. <laughs> that joke, son. Anyway, what Kevin's trying to get at once he's done laughing at himself, no one else is. Um, if you saw guys like James Harrison, who's like, I don't care. He's like, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I'm going to hit you hard. Well, you know what? Those hard, intentional forearm shots and shoulder shots to the head, well, now we're going to get you suspended for a game, which yeah. also means you ain't getting paid a game check. Yeah, he straight and, came out and said, he goes, I, I go on the field one of the fuck motherfuckers. Yeah. I mean, he might not have used the superlatives yeah, that I used. That's what he meant. Right. But my little my little guy up there in Philadelphia, yeah. And in all honesty, after a hit like that, I wouldn't be surprised if he's done for the year. Huh? Deshaun Jackson. If he doesn't play the rest of the year, I would not be surprised. Yeah, because he's all 125 I mean, pounds of him. Looking. Soaking wet with a backpack full of bricks. Yeah. That Bama is he's he's bigger around. He's little, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he got crushed by Dante Robinson. I mean, Did you guys see that hit? They're, they're expecting him I know to be out in at least three weeks. Huh? At least three weeks. Yeah. If, he play, if he comes back this season, he's a man. He might come back. Okay. What, well, what route do you want me to exactly. run? I mean, people are getting lit up. This I tell season. you what, man. The Redskins hit hard. Yeah. They put everybody Because out. they have 19 linebackers. Hence mm-hmm. the reason they can't play pass defense for shit. Yeah, they're terrible, sort of. Anyway, that's no, that's Pierre Garçon. Yeah, that mug. He was fucking catching footballs, french fries, fucking crepes. Crepes. <laughs> crepes. <laughs> crepes. <laughs> um, now, what, what's up with you and you saying, Al? That motherfucker's off his rock. girlfriend <laughs> was saying Al all night, nigga. <laughs> and it's not because they were smashing. It's because he was punching her in the head. She, he was like, say Al, pow. All right, another bad, bad joke. I'm fucking up, days, man. I know, son. man. What's up, man? Someone <laughs> please send me a joke. Someone please send me a joke. Somebody for. write him something. <sighs> but, man, anyway, Junior, tell us about. Junior Seau decided to go off the pop. Seau, Seau, You get kind of niggerish sometimes. <laughs> Junior Seau. You know, he decided to motherfucking drive his car. <laughs> Come on, man. You know you said a kind of niggerish shit. Come on. Junior Seau. Junior Seau. Okay. Decided to beat on his 25 year old girlfriend this morning and got arrested. Why? At what was 2:30 in the morning. I don't know. She didn't get Maybe she was banging the milkman. Really? Anyway, the milkman might have a big ass. Junior gets out at three o'clock in the morning, and about mm, lunchtime they find Junior in his Cadillac off a cliff. How do you survive that, man? Because he's driving a fucking Cadillac. <laughs> what what a Cadillac will save you from plummeting to death? It wasn't that far. That's a good ass Escalade commercial, sure. Yeah. What kind of cliff was it? Lee. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yankees. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, the other big news, in my opinion, in the NFL is what's up with Sean Merriman? Hmm. You have Sean Merriman. He goes from one of the most feared defenders in the league to, oh, yeah, by the way, when you get healthy, you're getting cut. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't done anything in three years, George. Why? Huh? Because he's been hanging out with Tequila, Tequila. What's your name? Tequila, Tequila. Tequila, Tequila. I think it's because he ain't got no more. He can't put steroids in his high knee. Yeah. That's what I think. That could be it, man. I mean, he could be. Now, what's up with speaking of all the people in trouble, man? What's up with Favre? Because this shit's still, you know, it's still hanging over his head. What, his dick? Like his, huh? His dick? I don't know. I didn't see the text messages. No, I neither did I. What's that the girl's, girl's name? Did. I don't know. Did you see pictures of her? Nope. She's not. Nice. Yeah, she's getting a spread from Maxim. It's huh? kind of entertaining how her, how the, the penis pictures yeah, came to her two years ago. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, by the way, I'm coming out in Maxim, and I got pictures of Brett Favre's dick. So, she, so, so Maxim... It's giving her a spread? Uh-huh. And would then you, all of a sudden we find out Would you give her a spread? So, on to the... St- uh, <laughs> I give that motherfucker questions everybody. I'm telling you, man. It just turns into a mute, man. Because, See? Because some... Uh-huh. I'm going to have you like Matt Hamill. You joning on that motherfucker last week. Had the message boards on fire. That God shit damn it. It was funny. For you, you know, people out there who get it, you know it was funny. You know, it's you funny people, is funny, man. And for you people who have deaf friends, you know the shit was funny, too, because you make fun of your deaf friends. I'm just wondering, man. I thought about this, right? Everybody kept saying, he probably couldn't, he can't hear what you said, right? But I'm saying, but you know. you read my lips. Read your lips or that fucking sign language, because I know, nigga, that you don't know sign language, and you could have been saying all kinds of great shit, and he, he probably, probably was like, gang signs. He probably he thought you were a crip or blood. Yeah, that would probably get me shot. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Um... Also, the San Diego Chargers stink. So did the Dallas Cowboys. Two teams that everyone had at the beginning of the season who we all thought were going to do really well. Mm-hmm. And what are they doing now? Really not so well. And I'm going to tell you what, man. It is, a, it is one thing only for both of those teams. North Turner is – he's just never had the killer instinct. And Wade Phillips is the exact same thing. When you – the Dallas Cowboys – and I, this is coming from a Washington Redskins fan – the Dallas Cowboys are a good team. They could easily 
and this people be like, oh, I don't know about that Kevin. Well, fuck you, niggas. I'm telling you right now, they could be five, and I mean, they could be four and one. What's the record? Four and one and three, one and four, four, four and one. They could be four and one. They, I, it's unbelievable. I love it because they just shoot themselves in the foot so bad. But they make so many penalties and make so many things. Like when when Witchman Jake jumped over dude's shoulders, man. Come on, man. You know, that's a coach, man. If I was the coach and he fucked up last week with that stupid shit, I was like, look, man, you saw what Fat Boy did when he fell back on his back. Uh, no more of that shit, okay? No more of that acrobat. This ain't the circus. This ain't Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus, okay? Might be for some of them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> real quick, if you had to pick, because I know you want to hit that remote real no, quick. No, I'm who, coming to an end. Who do you, would you have going to the uh, Super Bowl in the NFC? NFC? Six, six, right now, six weeks who would you have? I want to know everybody out there. Who do you have in the NFC and who do you have in the AFC? George, who do you have in the NFC right now? Because the NFC is crazy. AFC, I got to go with the Jets. Huh? AFC, I'm going with the Jets because the Jets have lost. I mean, the Jets have beat the Patriots and they beat the Ravens. So, okay. so in the AFC, George is going with the Jets. I'm going with the Steelers. And the NFC, I know you don't want to hear that shit, nobody, because they got a six pack. Bobby, you probably like that because you're from Pittsburgh. My yeah, boy you Joe probably like rapists too. Yeah. So. Dawn's liking that because she's, she's, she's from Pittsburgh. You know, she disappointed all. me. Why would she do? Because I have to support him. No, you don't. You don't have to support that motherfucker. Dawn, don't tell me you were supporting that. Oh, yeah. The, the rapist. Come on. Yeah. She did. Ask her. Yeah? Yeah. Dawn, did you, did you do that? Yeah. We're asking you right now. We're live on the Uncut Sports Show. Anyway, anyway. NFC team. Mm. Who would you go with? Saints. Yep. And they look rotten. I'm going to go with the Saints because I, I tell you what, they look, they're, they've only lost one game, right? One game. This season. And you know what? Let's look at it. Let's look at it this way. They don't have a running back. They don't have Bush, and they don't have Pierre Thomas. And when those guys come back, you're gonna, they're going to be having a lot Bush more. Bush is done for the year. No, Bush is coming back. I thought he was done for the year, but he's coming back.